Hello friends, greetings from Fegama in the Basque region of northern Spain again. I'm trying for the first time to do an actual real video for these devotionals on thinking inside the quarantine. I hope it's, uh, it's an improvement or, or it helps a little bit. And if not, if you don't like to see my face, why there's another link. You can go to the speaker's, the speaker's link and uh, just hear the audio. That'd be fine with me. Okay, we're in day nine and... I just checked a few minutes ago and there are 15,000 uh, official deaths from the coronavirus and our country, the states, is third on the list of cases with, uh, man, now I don't remember the number, 30,000 cases or so. And Spain uh, has is third on the list of deaths and that's supposed to climb seriously for the next few days. And actually, last night, uh, things got a little closer to home as one of our close neighbors. Uh, we heard that she is in the hospital with uh, the coronavirus. So, uh, every day has its own surprise, uh, surprise and news. Okay, so today I want to speak a little bit about a well-known person, well-known character of the Bible, uh, one of the most famous men in history uh, as well, and that's the man Moses. And so I'd like to read a few, uh, just a few verses by way of introduction. And I'm going to stick with my notes very closely because that will help me be concise and, and short and get to the point. In Exodus chapter 2, verse 15, uh, the Bible says, Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he, uh, that, they, that Moses had killed the Egyptian, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian. And he sat down by a well. So, sort of... Uh, backfired on, on Moses. He was 40 years old and he, he figured, uh, we got to start doing something here. You know, I, I, I need to jumpstart this project of God's. I, I don't know exactly what went through his mind, but he, uh, at least we know that he saw these two fighting and he went and defended the Israelite. And so, he, you know, he killed him. And uh, because of, I mean, he actually killed a man. And, and because of that, God sent him into what I sort of call a ministry quarantine or a quarantine from the ministry because God sent him away, completely away from the scene of where this great will that God had for him was supposed to take place. He sent him out of public life, away from everybody, into the desert and just sort of, in a sense, left him there for years. Now, we know that later on in life, not that was a huge blunder, a huge sin, I guess we would say. But then later on, even when he was a leader of the people of Israel in the desert, on one occasion he just exploded. He lost his temper publicly. And that cost him a pretty penny too, in terms of not being able later to even go into to put his foot in the promised land. And so that was Moses, a man with flesh, uh, with a flesh like ours, that leaned towards doing things his way and hurting himself in the process. Uh, we have an interesting summary. I won't go to the passages. We, you probably know of them anyway. But if you recall in the New Testament, in the book of Acts chapter 7, Stephen is giving... A defense, his defense, and he talks about Moses for a while, and he gives us a very interesting little details in there. If it weren't for him, we wouldn't, we wouldn't. I don't think we could figure this out. I'm pretty sure not. So we find out that he killed a man when he was 40, and we find out that God called him again from the desert when he was 80, 40 years later. And then in Deuteronomy 34, we find out that that Moses died at the age of 120, and so we have that very unique summary, or not nah, summary, outline of one of God's men in terms of his life, and the 40 years in Egypt, 40 years in the back of the desert, without, where no, almost nobody knew him, and then 40 years in the desert again, but, but leading the, the people of Israel. So we have that interesting, interesting, um, outline of his life. Now, like with John the Baptist, who 
we talked about a couple of days ago, Jesus gave some very, he gave a very powerful tribute to John the Baptist. Well, the Lord does the same, almost more, to Moses. He gives some tremendous tributes to him. And one of them is in Numbers 12, 3. And God says, Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. <laughs> what a tribute from God. Would you even say that you're meek and humble? Would, we, would I claim? I wouldn't claim that. That's a daily struggle to even, to even fight the fight of, Lord, help me to conquer this pride that just wells. It's, all, it's, it's always a part of my thinking if I stray for just a second. And, but he said Moses was the meekest, the humblest man alive. That's a powerful, a powerful statement. And then in Exodus 33, later he says it in Deuteronomy as well, in Exodus 33, 11, uh, it says, The Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. Wow, those two things just make Moses very special in the Bible, at least from a tribute point of view. God doesn't often talk about his men that way or his, his, his believers. So, anyway, so those were the unusual titles, uh, the unusual tributes. But now, to, to wrap it up, I'd like to pull out some, some observations, some lessons from the quarantine time some things that we can learn. Those of us who are in a literal quarantine, maybe some of you are, are in, a different, in a different situation, even with the virus. You may not be in a lockdown like we are, or it may be coming later. Or you may be in some other kind of a, of a let's say, a, a, a quarantine of life. You are, you are by yourself facing a tremendous problem, an issue in life that basically you see yourself as being by yourself. So you can, you can apply these lessons as well. First of all, one thing we learn <laughs> with Moses and with ourselves and other characters of the Bible, definitely, God is not in a hurry. He is not in a hurry. I don't know how long this quarantine is going to last. This is day number nine. It's supposed to, we heard yesterday, it's supposed to go on for another 15 at least. So it's getting long, but... But it's not going to be 40 years, but he, he actually put Moses, he set him aside for 40 years. Because God is never in a hurry with his Bible characters, or with me, or with you. So we've got to remember that. Uh, because we think many times that the passing of the time, the passing of time, the calendar, you know, the flipping of the calendar month by month, without anything being done that we can tell, we think it's a waste. God doesn't necessarily see it that way. Um, our, our mistakes and sin may slow the process of what God wants to do with us. But if we will repent and be humble before Him in the quarantine, if we will allow our hearts to be worked on, God will use us. He will use us. And in this quarantine, we should realize that God is working. He wants to work in our hearts. He wants us to grow. And another thing we find and we see often through the scriptures, but definitely in Moses, as he is using us at whatever level that is, with two people or 20 or 2,000, as God is using us he is for his work, let's say, he is also working in us. He is changing us, or at least that's his plan, that's his intention. It depends on, you know, our level of, of agreement, right? Um, and allowing God to change us. But that's what he's doing. When he works through us, he's also working in us. He did that with Moses, definitely. And then it was in the quarantine time when God spoke personally to Moses and we have that beautiful, beautiful phrase, Moses, Moses, 
the voice coming out of that, that bush. And God called Moses like he did in other parts of the Bible as well. Abraham, Abraham, Samuel, Samuel, Peter, Peter. God's way of calling people. And he will call us too. He will speak to us if we are willing to listen in the time of quarantine. And I want to end with one verse in Deuteronomy and make one closing observation, or repeat it rather. In Deuteronomy 34, verse 10, And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. <laughs> wow. God wants to meet us as well. He started that face to face in the desert, calling Moses. And in our quarantines, however you define that, and whatever the situation is, the one thing God wants from us, He wants to do with us, is to have us grow closer to Him. And I trust that myself, you, each of us, as we go through these times, that we will come out closer to God than when we went in. That's God's will. And may He do that in us. Thank you very much for listening, for praying for us. God bless you. Have a great day.